Five incredible facts about quantum physics. Five. Virtual particles. The easiest way we can explain this one is when particles or the smallest, most insignificant items appear and disappear from existence randomly. This is commonly referred to by many as empty space, and while its name obviously suggests that it is empty, it actually isn't. Empty space is full of energy, and randomly a pair of particles will pop into existence out of said energy. How it works is that one of those particles is made of matter, and one of them is made of antimatter. To put it simply, if both the particle made of matter and the one made of antimatter make contact with one another, both particles would then explode and disappear. A billionth of a second or so after they appear, virtual particles will crash into each other and cease to exist. These virtual particles appear to violate all common knowledge and sense that we've all come to know about the universe. Everything that exists needs to have a cause. Four. Quantum teleportation. Let's be honest, we're sure a lot of us wished we had teleportation. We just can't get home from work fast enough, so it would be a nice, convenient thing to have. But what if we were to tell you that while it's something that we as a species can't do, the concept of teleportation is actually real? This is all thanks to quantum entanglement. But how does that work, I hear you ask? Well, how it works is that you essentially create two entangled photons and send one of them over a distance and medium, say 102 kilometers of optic fiber. It is because of these entangled states that you are able to determine when they are in opposite states, in effect, teleporting the evil twin of the photon. Now obviously, don't get too hyped up just yet. While the concept does statistically make sense and could plausibly work, and has even been proven to work thanks to scientists who have cracked fiber optic teleportation of information encoded in light, they unfortunately haven't cracked the teleportation of matter. But hey, if the advancements on fiber optic technology are anything to go by as a first step, we may be able to see teleportation in our lifetime. Three. Schrodinger's Cat Theory The internet loves a good cat, doesn't it? So why not mention a cat here? Schrodinger's cat is a famous thought experiment illustrating the seemingly paradoxical nature of quantum theory and how observation makes such a difference, almost forcing the universe to choose a particular path. What this experiment consisted of was that a person would put a cat in a box and seal it in with some radioactive matter. Yeah, sorry internet. Probably not what you were wanting to hear. And it doesn't get any more pleasant. By doing this, this has a 50-50 chance of decaying, and if it does, the radioactive matter will then release more poison, which will eventually become fatal to said cat. Well, we said it wouldn't be any more pleasant, didn't we? But here's the thing about this theory. Until you open the box up, you have no clue as to whether or not the cat survived. But in the quantum world, ignoring things such as coherence, the cat would be, in a sense, both alive and dead until you open the box and force the universe to choose whether the cat is alive or dead. This gives so much power to the act of conscious observation, and this may either be a profound fact about reality or a confusion of some sort on our part. Now, let us make it abundantly clear right now, do not try this at home, obviously. 2. Quantum Entanglement Quantum entanglement may be one of the more fascinating facts when it comes to quantum physics as a whole, but that is subjective. Despite all the knowledge gained when it comes to this phenomena, we still as of right now don't truly understand it. And for those of you who aren't familiar with it, or are just reading a script about it with no real idea of what it means either, quantum entanglement is a quantum mechanical phenomenon in which the quantum states of two or more objects have to be described with reference to each other, even though the individual objects may be spatially separated. So to describe how quantum entanglement works, the best way we can honestly describe it is like this. Now, try to imagine two large hills and imagine that there's a person standing on each hill. 
Now think, what would be the quickest way for them to communicate with one another? Walking down to meet one another would take too long, and while shouting to one another from the top of each hill may be convenient, it's still not the quickest way of communication. The quickest possible way is if both individuals had a flashlight, as nothing is quicker than the speed of light. Now, with this in mind, also try to imagine that the hills that both individuals are standing on are incredibly small. Now, before each person goes up their respective hill, they both make contact with one another. Could be a hug, a handshake, or even a high five. When doing this, something that affects one of them will immediately affect the other. This leads to correlations between observable physical properties of the systems. We know it's a rather strange way of explaining it, but to give you a more accurate example, it's entirely possible to have two particles in a single quantum state, such that when one is observed to be spin up, the other one will always be observed to be spin down, and vice versa. This, despite the fact that it is impossible to predict, according to quantum mechanics, which set of measurements will be observed. As a result, measurements performed on one system seem to be instantaneously influencing other systems entangled with it. But quantum entanglement does not enable the transmission of classical information faster than the speed of light. Despite evidence being there in terms of how quantum entanglement works, Albert Einstein hated the idea that information can travel instantaneously. He would simply write it off as he believed that it was simply, quote, spooky action at a distance. His words, not ours. His reasoning for this conclusion was because he simply thought that there were some kind of hidden variables which could explain this without breaking the universe's speed limit. Because even back then they knew nothing could ever travel faster than the speed of light. However, John Bell came up with an ingenious experiment to test the spooky action at a distance claim against Einstein's competing theory and found that Einstein was wrong. Particles that are entangled can communicate faster than light. Much like with most phenomena that has little to no explanation, there's several strange theories to come with it. Theories that include wormholes, where entangled particles are physically connected through tunnels that connect different points in space and time. And of course, the many different interpretations when it comes to quantum physics as a whole. Every possibility happens, each one in a different universe. But those are just that, theories, interesting theories, but theories with no tangible evidence. The main takeaway when it comes to quantum theory as a whole is that although we do not understand it, we are able to apply the rules of calculation it inspires and compute properties of matter to unparalleled accuracy, in some cases with a precision that exceeds those currently obtained from experiment. 1. The Sun to finish off our video, it's only fitting that we talk about the big burning ball in the center of our solar system that gives us warmth and life. Unfortunately, classical physics predicts that the sun should undergo an ultraviolet catastrophe. As you know, an event such as this would see that giant flaming ball of gas give off an infinite amount of energy at high frequencies of light. It's actually quite scary to think about, really, as the toll it would take on us humans and life in general would be, well, catastrophic. Hell, not just on Earth, but to the entire solar system as a whole. Luckily for us, however, quantum physics saves us from such a catastrophic event taking place. Quantum physics says that light energy is quantized. It can only be given off in packets called photons, and the energy of a photon is proportional to the frequency of the light. This thankfully limits the amount of energy given off at higher frequencies and saves us all from really bad sunburn. Thank you for watching. Be sure to check out our previous videos and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any future content. See you all soon.